Hey everyone, Matt here with Reach Your Summit. With daylight savings time and the extra hour of daylight, I recently took advantage of that and got out on a backpacking loop that I created last year for National Trails Day. Also in 2018, I channeled my inner Benton Mackay and created this backpacking loop for National Trails Day as a completely new and unique backpacking option for the public. So I led a group out on National Trails Day on this trip and I've also done this loop a couple of times on my own. Uh, so the LKD loop is a 39.3 mile loop that passes through land trust properties, a greenway, state parks, a national historic landmark, and the New England National Scenic Trail. Along with all of those, it also passes through a couple of small communities, touches on history, and has a lot of technical terrain with roots, rocks, and some moderate elevation. Toward the end of this video, I also put together a gear segment to show you the gear that I brought on this specific winter trip. I really hope that you all enjoy this video as much as I did getting out there and creating it and experiencing this loop once again. All right, everyone. So I'm on the LKD loop doing a winter trip. And so today's itinerary about 20 miles to camp. And then tomorrow I've got 19.3. Taking advantage of the extra hour of daylight. So the sun will be setting around 7 o'clock tonight. And really looking forward to this. I'm going to have some new gear in my pack. So I'm going to test out that gear. I'll put some more miles on the Atom pack and get some conditioning in for the Allegheny 100. See you guys soon. Making my climb up to the first overlook of this loop, uh, which is West Ledge. The terrain isn't too bad. I have spikes in my pack in case I need them, but probably won't today. It's supposed to reach the upper 40s, but dip down below freezing tonight, so it'll be nice to have them tomorrow if I need them. Always love these glacial erratic rock formations. It's so awesome. This is from West Ledge. Always nice to have some encouragement on the trail. <laughs> oh. All right, so I'm entering Black Bear Territory, the Queen Game Refuge. And I wouldn't be surprised if I saw one today, just with how warm it is out. And they are not necessarily deep hibernators. But it'll be really cool if I can see one. Love seeing them out on the trail. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll take a break here for a minute. Ah, yes. I <laughs> love it through here. This is what it's all about. Uh, if you're looking for solitude, this is the loop for you. Absolutely gorgeous. So the temperature warm up is definitely making this a little more difficult. Very soupy at the moment. It's definitely good conditioning. Right, 
just can't get over how beautiful it is out. I just did about a couple of miles of the Farmington Canal Heritage Trail and we're about to hop off onto Turkey Hill and hit the bottom of Peak Mountain on the New England National Scenic Trail and head over to camp. So I'm walking down the trail and I heard a loud thud. Like, what is going on? Look around. There's some big turkey vultures up there. Look at the size of them. It's like the size of a dog. Alright guys, so I'm at camp here. This is the Windsor Locks Boy Scouts uh, primitive campsite. But sloshing through this all day, about 18 miles of my hiking was through stuff like that. So I have a video up of the Lone Peak Mids, which if you haven't seen it yet, I will put it up in a link above right here. But I am interested to see how my socks and feet fared with walking through that all day wearing these. Let's see. Wow. A little bit of standard sweat. So the inside is pretty dry. A little bit of sweat built up inside of here, uh, but not too bad. All right, so let me show you some of the new gear that I'm testing out. So for this trip, I brought the new REI Quarter Dome 2 SL. This tent weighs just as much as my regular REI Quarter Dome 1. If you haven't seen that video yet, I will put that link up right at the top of the screen right now. Check that out if you'd like. Uh, but this tent, I'm really looking forward to testing this out. Um, it is not bad at all. They said it was going to be pretty windy today, but I didn't experience that too much, so. Uh, and I'll put a short segment up at the end of this trip video just to show you everything that I brought. I won't go into too great detail with it all. Uh, but I also have the Enlightened Equipment Revelation. This is a 20 degree bag. I have a really nice down pillow that I just picked up, so I'm looking forward to trying that out tonight. And do have a sleeping bag liner here in case I do get cold. I didn't go with the Uber Light for this trip because it's expected to drop below freezing. Uh, so I went with the Thermarest Neo Air X Therm. And all my other stuff. Adam packs. I had about 17 pounds of weight on that today uh, with my rain shell at the top most of the time. Carried very well for 20 miles. Uh, it was very comfortable throughout the whole day. So I'm probably going to bring that on the Allegheny 100 with me. All right. Bit of a contrast from yesterday. Looks like the winds definitely picked up a day late and got cloud cover all over, but it looks like it's starting to break. Everything's iced over. So it got down to around 25, 24 degrees last night and slept really comfortably. I threw the bag liner in with my quilt and pad just so I didn't have the cold feeling of the pad on my skin because I 
had minimal clothing on, but it's very comfortable. And I'm looking forward to today. Got the Metacomet Ridge and 19.3 miles back to the car. Wow. This area just got decimated. Oh man, I am so glad that I got down here as early as I did. It warms up today. This is all going to be giant muddy mess. <laughs> Luckily I don't have to deal with that too much. I was planning on having a snack up here, but it's way too windy to be sitting around for too long, so I'm going to show you Oh man, that wind is picking up. Here's the new and improved stairway to heaven. So nice that this is dry. I would most likely slip there if it wasn't. Awesome work with that stairway. Uh, thanks again, CFPA. I know myself and every other hiker is greatly appreciative. Thank you. Uh, here's the old stairway. It is just all loose trap rock. Definitely more hazardous than the new one. Wow. I lucked out here. Oh <laughs> man. I will put up a couple of pictures right now showing you what this area typically looks like. And you can compare it to it's like right now. Love this area. Reminds me of Vermont.
there you have it, the LKD loop. There are a ton of other highlights on this trip outside of what I showed you in this video. If you have any questions on this loop or you'd like to get out and try it for yourself, please feel free to get in touch. I've taken field notes on all of my trips on this loop and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. You can leave any of those in a comment down below or you can get in touch with me at reachyoursummit.net. I also lead trips on this loop, so please feel free to get in touch with me if you'd like to come out on one of those as well. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you on the trail.